Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. Once again, I have missed a day of doing a video, even though I've done my December daily. Yesterday was a work day, and then we were invited to a dinner party. And today, I did my journal page, but we went out to eat tonight to a new place. We went, uh, I don't know if anyone has seen the Andy Griffith show, but the way Andy and Barney joke about, let's go over to Raleigh. So we went over to Raleigh tonight, and we ate at a place called um, Cousins Maine Lobster, and it was really good. I think the people who started that were on a Shark Tank, if you've ever seen that. I did want to stop in, even though it's late, and share today's journal pages. So there's a lot of pink in this one. I'm just looking across my desk and I think, oh, I wonder if I could have incorporated this somehow. It's an old dried uh, rose, but maybe it's not pink enough. Anyway, okay, so let me straighten out this. This is to cover a tremendous mess. And anyway, it all fits in together. So today's page or spread. This is yesterday and this is today and of course I wanted it to all tie in and flow together really nicely to make a pretty spread. It's called the music box and you will see why as we get deeper into this page. There's a lot of grunge, a lot of distressing, but also a lot of gesso and I just thought what is a boho birds Christmas without some pink edge on the very front came from uh, the graphics fairy so I really appreciate being able to use that in this journal uh, where do I start so let's start on this page this is just a piece of cotton fabric that has some gesso and some stamping this is one of my favorite stamps I love the bird cage and of course you see the lace, the fabric where I sewed the pages in originally. And then when you flip this open, you see this pretty little bird that's from an old postcard. And there's an owl that's from an old print. All of these things I either scanned from my own collection or they were in the um, public domain, like old Victorian images and things like that. This piece of fabric has got a lot of um, a lot of gesso, and there is one little sparkly piece of fabric from the uh, package that I ordered from Boho Daydreams. I did want just a little bit of sparkly on the page, kind of like some jewels. And again, it's called the Music Box, so you'll see why. I put this tab on here to be able to fold this page back or this little flap back and I just wrote under here love my job and put yesterday and the date. Uh, let's see there's 15 stamped there this is really quick it's just basically showing you what the pages are made from and in the center I went ahead and put just two pieces of trim that I really like I like the gold and um, there's one of the little, the little sparkly stickers that Jason gave to me. This printed um, card, and this says Arm & Hammer, so this looks like one of the old ad, like trading cards that we've talked about. But I've got some strips of satin that have been glued down to hold this in place. And when you open it up, I stamped I Love You with some Distress Ink, and I think we all need to practice telling ourselves that more. You can see some ribbon under here that has been distressed. There's a vintage playing card that was pink. It's been heavily distressed. And then in here is my entry for today. I just tucked that there. Now on this flap you can see layers of vintage lace and I've used some pink embroidery thread to just hand stitch those two layers together. And on each the top and the bottom I have, this is a really pretty paper flower from some potpourri that smelled so good. And then here is a an artificial flower that I took apart and then I took all the plastic pieces out and just put the petals back together. Both of those are on with safety pins. 
and I, I love using safety pins like that. I need to get some rusted safety pins. That's on my list of things to do or to make. Here you see a beautiful, beautiful piece from Boho Daydreams. And we're getting more into like the music box or the jewelry box. That's kind of what I had in mind. There's a layer of tissue paper under here, several layers of lace, and I stamped 16 for the date. And then when you lift this up, I've got the shape of a mirror here, all these sparkles. And do you remember the jewelry boxes that had the little ballerina that stood up and spun around and it played the music and it was a music box and a jewelry box. But this just has a lot of pink stamping and um, pink paint has distress stamping and some glitter that's been put in and I just I love the way this turned out it's a lot of layering it's just it didn't take a super large amount of time to do it um, it's more or less the time is you know putting things on the page and letting them dry and just working with layer after layer but I do love this page. I'm gonna have to have some more pink in this because I have a couple more things that I really want to use. So that is all for now, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow with my entry for the 17th. And can you believe we're that close to Christmas? All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.